all these things I've got open. Um, can you hear me any better now? And is the sound okay? Because what I've what I've got I've got. Um, let me turn that off. Is there any echo or anything like that? If you can let me know. So I've got quite a lot of echo on my side, although I've turned the turn the volume down now, but if anybody pops in, I won't be able to hear them. No, there was no in no music. I usually have music, um, but I'm, I've tried um, using StreamYard this time, and I've got another camera set up. So I think that's probably just easier to do. Um, and I think I've got some feedback back from that. So as long as there's no echo now, it should be okay, I think. Um, I'll say hello to a few people in the chat. We've got um, Chris. Hi, Chris. Got Aid. Um, it was nice to speak to you um, last night. Um, he likes the sound effects. Um, the Dave. Hiya. Um, Jack Dobbins, thank you. Um, hi, Leanne. Hi, Richard. Hi, Rosie. Um, Fat Dad's online. Hi, yeah. Hi, Chris Tyler. I think that's it so far, anyway. Um, yeah, so the aim of this, um, it's like all my other photography streams, I'm basically going to be taking photos, cleaning items, testing items. Um, and just seeing seeing um if it's worth listing on ebay and if it is then i'll i'll um clean it up do the testing take the photos um so i've got my photography cam ready which i'll do i'll add it to the stream um let me just see if i can arrange this a bit better Okay, um, photo cam not working. Let me see whether your browser's lost connection to your camera. Oh, that's not good, is it? Um, let me just see if I can fix this. and plug the camera and plug it back in that's usually the, that's usually the way to fix these things right Let's see if we can get this get this working Okay, so that's not great. Um, let me just remove the camera from the the stream. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can now change it. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I think it's got confused between the two cameras somehow. I did set it up all earlier and it was all fine. Aha, uh -huh, right, okay, I've got it going now. 
Let's mute that into Broadcast Studio. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, so I think that's, yeah, that's how I wanted it. If you can let me know um, that the sound's still good, because I've muted the photo cam, um, but I've still got my main webcam set up for the audio. Um, I'll try and speak a bit louder as I go over to my photography area. Hopefully you'll be able to pick up the the audio from over there. Um, let me... Let me just say hi to a few more people that might have popped in um, before I make a start. Um, so if I'm missing anybody, but I think... Um, I've got Rosie. Hiya, Rosie. Pete's Retro Collectibles. Hiya, thanks for joining. Night's Life. Hiya, Richard. Mike Dando. Hiya. Um, I think that's it. Sounds good. Brilliant. Um, okay, so, yeah, just to catch up, I was just going to take some photos, t test some items, clean some items, and probably do a little bit of research on eBay at the same time. Um, so it's sort of a working hangout type thing. So sometimes I'll go quiet. Sometimes I might walk off to get some more stock. Um, just something to have in the background if you're if you're listing yourself or doing some work. Um, and hopefully um, might have a few people on maybe a bit later. Um, if you're doing listing as well, let me know. Um, later on, maybe add a few more people to the stream. That's why I added it's a stream yard this time, so I could add people in. But um, for now, I'll just take, carry on taking a few of my own stuff. Um, I've got a few things lined up, so um, I'll start to um, get that done now. So once I'm over by my photography area, if you could let me know whether the sound's still good, that would be good. Okay, so hopefully you can see my hands there. Um, and hopefully you can probably still see me as well. Let me see if I can move my webcam, tilt it a little bit more that way, so you can see me. You can see me actually over here as well, as well as as here. You see me doing that. So sounds still fine by photography area. That's great. Okay, so. Um, I'll be taking photos with my uh, mobile phone, um, just a iPhone 12. Um, I've got a few items um, that I've prepared. You see, I've got my horrible dirty cloth. I have window and glass cleaner. I have a tea towel to dry the items, got some scissors, um, got a few cable ties here for, um, you know, putting wires together. Um, if I need it, I've got some um, alcohol, um, just in case um, times get hard and I, I need to hit the drink. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get started. So first off, I need to go and just put some water on this cloth to get it damp. If it's dried up overnight, um, I'll be back in two minutes.
Okay, I need to move um, these items out of the way as well. So my office is a bit of a, a bit of a tip, really. The part of listing all this stuff during lockdown is to tidy my office a bit as well, because there's a lot of unlisted stuff in here. Um, as I've mentioned in the past, um, I'm working through my death piles, so I um, haven't sourced any new stock. Obviously, everything's closed, being in lockdown and stuff, so um, this is really the dregs of my death pile. Um, but hopefully I'll find some smaller items that are worth listing. Right, so here I'm using these little rubber bands. These are actually those, um, those rubber bands that, loom bands, I think they were called, the toys that I've, my kids had. And um, instead of throwing them away, I just, because they fit, obviously finished with them now, the craze is gone. Um, and I've, I'm using them to tie small wires together like this. So they do the job. They're not brilliant, but they, they tidy up the item, especially for taking photos. So these little Sanyo speakers, unfortunately, they don't work very well. Um, so they're going to be spares of repairs, but I'm in the mindset that I'm going to list them. They're worth £20 if they're working. Um, and it's just a loose connection at the earphone socket. Um, just here, um, if you twiddle the wire, sometimes it comes on, sometimes it goes off. So somebody might repair it. I'll stick them on cheap just to sort of get rid of them. So I'm taking a photo of the, the model number. And what I'll also do with these is take a photo with a tape measure so, so people can sort of get an understanding of um, how big they are because they're obviously only very small speakers. I don't want people thinking they're, they're sort of proper speakers. That'll do. And what I'll probably do with that. Um, Got some food bags here. I'll probably just put this into one of those food bags just so it keeps it keeps it all together like that. And just see that. Out. And I'll stick it in C A one. As you can see, now I've taken the photo. Now what I'll do, I'll take my um, book and I'll write Sanyo Speakers CA1. And when I come to list it, I'll be able to know where I've put it in my inventory. It's me out of food bags now, so throw that box away. Okay, so second item. Um, is this angel care plug? I ended up parting out this angel care baby monitor, and um, so I think something was wrong with one of the displays. So I parted it out, had a sensor and things like that, and I've already sold all of that. Um, I'm just going to remove this pat testing label because it's. really old and makes it look a bit scruffy. Okay, so um, I've already tested it. I tested it when I was testing the uh, main, the, the baby monitor, so I know it works. So I'm just going to take photos straight away. Um, so with this, I usually just lay it out sort of like that. Put my camera into the square mode take a photo I take a photo of 
the three pin plug so people understand it's a um a uk plug and not like a euro plug um, take a photo of the model numbers and also of the actual connection um you should just try and So take a photo like that. That's pretty much it. I'll take a I'll take another one at the side. Um and that's it. And I'll put that in CA1 as well. So Angel Care Plug C A1. There's two items. Let me just um have a quick look in the chat, see if there's um any new people coming in. Um, let me just scroll up. Everybody's saying hi to everybody. Um, yeah, Chris says there's no sound on the intro or countdown. No, no, there wasn't. I did think about putting it on, but it would literally come through my monitor and into the microphone on my um, webcam. So I didn't think it would be a very good sound. So. I decided just to have it completely uh, muted. Um, I'm not really set up for StreamYard like this because I I usually use OBS. Um, it's the first time I'm using StreamYard doing this sort of stream. So um, we just scroll down, see if I can find out where I was. Um, Sam's Adventures popped in. The day, feeling fresh considering you were up until 3 a.m. with Nick. Yeah, I, I I was on that until about midnight, half past midnight, and then I um I I decided to call it a night. I think Andrew came on, didn't he, later on? Um I think Lane came in just before or just after just after I left, actually, I think. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let me, um, carry on taking some more photos there. Okay, so, um, this is another bit of the dregs out of the death pile. This is a set of genuine Sony Walkman speakers. Now, I thought this, these might not be worth anything, but they, I've already tested them, they do work fine. Um, and they actually are worth probably about a tenner pre-postage. So I thought I might as well list them. Me. Put a little bit of tape on these because just, just to connect the wire. Okay, so that's basically it, and I shall, similar to what I did with the Angel Care monitor plug, I'll just take a photo of it open there, I'll take a photo of the plug, I'll take a photo, because ha it hasn't got the foam on as you can see, it's just, it's just the plastic, so I need to take a photo showing that there's no foam. Take a photo of the Sony logo. And also there's a model number just on the side here. Take a photo of that. And take another photo that way. And then these actually fold up as well. Like, like that. So I'm going to take a photo in a folded up position. And that's it. Um, and what I'll do, I'm going to put them. I'll put them out the way because they're going to my um, delicate box. Basically, I've got a a box in my storage that um, is for items that are really got to be stored very carefully, otherwise they break. And I think those will come into that. Um, so next item is 
Um, this Canon Z115 camera, um, no idea on value on this. Um, all I can do is test it for um, battery operation. I can't actually test it for photos. Um, so it won't be film tested, although hopefully I'll be able to put a battery in it. I've got a few camera batteries that I use to test these things. Um, no idea on value again. Um, let's have a quick look actually. Okay. Let me see if I can share screen. Okay, um, so this is a Canon um, Dead 115. Um, oh, £20, £39.99. So it is actually worth a decent amount of money, which is good. Um, let me just put that back on. Yeah, so if I can get a get a battery in this, it'll be worthwhile me it'll be worthwhile me um, testing it properly, or at least with a battery anyway, rather than selling it as untested. Right, so I'm assuming this will take those smaller batteries. I don't think it's a double A. No. Let's see if I've got a couple. I'm sure I have. Yeah, I think it's um, these batteries. These smaller batteries, they're... Um, I don't know what the type, what type they're called. One, two, three, I think. Um, but yeah, I, um, yeah, there must be CO17345. Um, but I've got a couple here. What I do, I keep them when I get cameras like this and I've got a battery in them that work. I keep, I keep the batteries so I can, um, test so I can test the items um, it appears to be working let's check if the battery is the right way around No. Let's see if I've got any more batteries just in case those ones are not powerful enough. Okay, so I've got a couple more here. Um, these are used batteries that have come from stock, so some of them are better than others. Oh, it is doing something because the I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's a zero on there now. But there's no the lens isn't opening. I can I can hear it 
I can hear it doing something, but yeah, I think this is going to be a case of selling this as spares or repairs. I don't think the um, the cover, the lens cover, is working. I'm assuming that should open as soon as you turn it on. We'll just try a different battery, just in case the batteries haven't got enough power or something. No. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be sold as spares or repairs, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Okay, before I put the battery cover back on, I'll take a photo. Take a photo of the battery compartment with the lid there so people can see that it's nice and clean. As I will usually do with cameras, I'll sort of wrap the wrap the strap round like that and take a nice photo of it. Um, all the different angles, making sure I get the model number in. the um, bottom in as well where it says made in Japan it's always a good thing and then a photo just the lens so people can see um, the type of lens it's got and also the inside that's pretty much it and it's a shame that doesn't work though because that would have Looks like that would have been a nice £30 item, but never mind. Um, let me just catch up with the chat. Coffee is saving me, says the Dave. Yeah, I've got a nice um, big coffee here. Has anybody ordered from Bulk? Um, I've no idea who Bulk is. I'm not really a clothing seller. I'm assuming that's one of these clothing halls, places. Um, I don't. I do clothes, but I get them when I'm offered them via my contacts. I don't really go out and seek to buy them if I can avoid it. Um, the day a retro question, Derek, what's the most expensive item you have sold on eBay? Hmm. Um, I think, I think it was um, some ham radio equipment I had from an auction um, a long time ago now, probably, well, probably about three years ago. Um, more recently, I sold a big, a big boom box that sold for about £400 or something. Um, so, yeah, I've sold a, 
you know, I've sold some cars on eBay as well. Um, that are a lot higher value. Um, but they were sort of personal cars rather than, you know, for my, my business. Okay. Um, the main... On the next item, which is this Technics remote control. I'm going to have a look on eBay, see if this is worth anything as well. The battery compartment's okay. It does look like they've had batteries in. It hasn't really leaked. Um, but I do need to test this, and there's a good way of testing this is with your uh, mobile phone. I know a few people have done a video on it. Um, I can show you in a second. It's gonna give it a little bit of a clean. It's not too bad. It's just a bit dusty from my um, storage. There you go. It's a lot cleaner now. Um, so yeah, the way to test it is to put your camera on your phone and point it to like the selfie camera and then you point your thing out. It will help if I put batteries in the, the item first there. Um, get a couple of batteries out. Hopefully these batteries are good. Yeah, in, I mean, there's no, it's very, very faint. There's no way you'll be, be able to see this. Um, but basically, you just point it like this at your camera and you'll see like a flicker, a little flicker. It's important to test all the buttons um, on there um, because there's like a membrane in here and that can become deteriorated. Yeah, this, this works fine. Okay, so that's that's basically all there is to testing it. Um, that's a lot easier than um, testing it with the actual item um, because that's probably been sold or I never had it in the first place. I literally just pulled this out with a death pile, so I don't really know... Um, what this item fits. So I'm going to do a little bit of research now. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Technics EU Six four seven nine eight. Oh, there you go. Twenty four ninety nineteen thirty two. Because the important thing is how much they're actually selling for. Why is eBay so slow at the moment? It looks like it's like a. I probably put it on for nineteen ninety nine. So it is a nice item to to list. Okay, that's good. Happy enough with that. Okay, so I'll just take some more photos of it. Actually, with this remote, um, as you can see, I've got a, a background which is... Um, 
it's lino flooring um because i was using a white background before but it was getting very grubby so i've got this lino it's okay but i do want to get some new stuff because i don't like the design of it, it really does look like i'm taking photos on my floor so i need to get a different design but i didn't want to get a white one um because i find that taking white i don't get a very good picture either um with the sort of glare from my cameras um I might just take it without that because it's going to be very difficult otherwise. Take a picture of the back. Um, and I'll also take a picture of the battery compartment okay so that's another item listed and i've put that in ca1 as well um techniques no it's ca1 okay so next item is these I've got a couple of these, and I'm sure I've got a few more elsewhere. Um, these are um, cards. It's like Mr. and Mrs. game. Um, and with Valentine's Day coming up, um, it's worth me listing them. Um, I've had these for literally years, and I always miss um, Valentine's Day with them. So I'm just going to do a couple of quick photos of the box. Um, let me just see if I can get the okay. Just need to clean up the boxes a little bit. They're not too bad. There's a couple of little squashes on the box, but the actual cards will be sealed inside. As you can actually see in here, this one actually can open it. You can see it's um, sealed. What I might do actually is use that and take a photo. So I can take a photo of the actual cards and also the instructions so I've got three of them I'm sure I've got a couple more as well in one of these drawers so I'm going to put these over here if I can find a suitable spot that's on W2 so perfect match times three is two okay so as you can see here now i i've got the perfect match cards i've got three of them and i put them on w2 which is the shelf just here um right so next item is this now this is a i mini cute um universal dock for iphones runs from batteries it also runs from a nine volt power but i don't think this is going to be worth me using one of my nine volt adapters with to be honest with you um, i'm going to have a look at complete it so i might just sell it without the adapter you know for use with batteries um, Yeah. 
me see how much it's worth first. Okay, so this is a Ozaki um, I P eight three one. Nothing. Nothing sold. Oh, there's one here, twenty one pound. Uh, that's in Italy. I'm not sure if this is going to be worth me putting the nine volt. Let me see. If got nine volt adapter. Six volt. It's got a smaller plug as well, which isn't isn't good. Um, it's five volt. Um, the power adapters I've got won't fit this because it's such a small plug on it. It's not going to work either. Okay, I'll have to try it with batteries and just sell it with the batteries. or sell it, sell it for use with batteries. So it takes um, six six triple A's. Let's hope I've got enough, enough of them to test it. Some of these don't know if they're any good either, these batteries. I'll give them. Again, a lot of these batteries are kind of from items that I've got them with. They came with working batteries, but so I keep them um, for testing items. But yeah, there you go. So it is working. Um, oh, you can't see. Hang on. Move. Okay, so. I'll just put the batteries in. You can see it has actually come on. It's got a radio in it as well. It's quite good. It's got auxiliary in. It's got iPod. So I'll take a few photos of that. Okay. So what I'll need to do with this, I need to test it with what I've got. I've got a Bluetooth um, adapter that is the 30 pin. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll use that. And that allows me to test the functionality of the 30-pin iPod, but on my sort of more, more modern iPhone. Um, and then the auxiliary will take a line in from a computer. So I'm just going to take some photos of it as it is, and then I'll test the rest of it later on. In this item, I mean, what did we say? It was somebody's got it on there for 20 odd pounds. I'd probably list it for similar myself. Um, give it a try because there's no real sales history on it. Um,
I do find these docking stations do quite well. But yeah, that was off the death pile that I had no idea that I had it. Okay, next item is this. This looks like a cheese knife. Is it cheese knife? Um, so this comes in its box. Well, it's obviously vintage. It's like a, a meat cleaver, doesn't it? But it's um, made in Japan, which is always good. It's very sharp and it's got like a teak handle that's quite nice so yeah that's um it's probably worth listing i guess and it's got his little box i don't know whether that that's probably more suitable on the white background so i will put it on the white background there So a couple of photos of the handle, a couple of the blade, if it zooms, if it focuses. A photo at the back with the ornate design. And the zoom of where it says stainless steel Japan. Okay. Maybe a measurement would be good on this as well. I'll just do that. And being vintage, this is ideal for Etsy as well. And then a picture of the box. I'll just pop it back in the box and I'll put that in that delicate storage box again because um, obviously being a knife I don't want to be rummaging around in a box and it cutting my hand or anything like that. Okay, so move on to the next item which is PlayStation 1 controller. This is um, an older one, just unravel it. I did actually test this yesterday um, on a PlayStation 2 actually, because I listed a PlayStation 2 yesterday. I actually sold live on Peter Ray's stream that I was on. Um, I've tested all my controllers for PlayStation 1 and 2 using that, that console. Um, so I've got a couple more on the list as well. I've got some silver controllers, which I think fetch about £20 each. They both fully work. Um, no idea how much this one is for. Obviously, it's uh, it's one of the original ones without the dual shock controller, the, the analog sticks. It's a bit grubby. It's not too bad. I'm just going to give it a bit, a bit of a wipe. As with a lot of my stuff, I don't spend too long cleaning things um, if they're lower value, really. Um, I make them presentable, um, but unless it's worth a lot of money, I try to keep my preparation to a minimum. Um, sometimes if it sells, then I will clean it a little bit more before it goes out to the buyer. Um, if it's something I don't know whether it would sell, um, I often do that. I just list it, list it how it comes and it, give it gives it a clean if it does actually sell. Because I've got a few spares or repairs, big hi-fi units that really I have no idea will actually sell. There's a lot of cleaning. So I list them and then I give them a little bit more of a clean before I send them out. 
this is probably fine. There's nothing really wrong with this. So, um, I'll just take a picture of that. I'll take a picture of the back. So people can see that the Y is good coming out of the unit. Um, take a picture of the bottom. And of the model number and stuff. And I'll also take a picture of the connection port just so they can see that all the pins are good in there um, and I'll stick that in the CA one as well Ray PS1 controller CA1 okay right let me let me catch up with the chat to get a bit of my coffee and before we move on to the next thing um, let me make myself full screen here. Um, well, that will do. Let me just adjust the camera as I speak to you. Okay, let me have a catch up with the chat. Um, you know, Lane is in. Hi, Laney. Thanks for popping by. Well, have you got a positive um, test? I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time before everybody sort of gets it now, really. I don't know. I've been quite fortunate so far. I don't really know anybody who's who's had it. Um, sort of personally around me yet. Hey, B. Johnson. Thanks for popping by. The Dave, is your workspace big? I use spare room in the house and shed if I really need it in the warmer months. Yeah, well, this office um, is fairly big. I mean, it goes back to the the window there, and it's probably three meters wide. It's like a little, um, I wouldn't call it a conservatory because it's got a proper roof. It's but it's all windows all the way round. Um, it's fully re renovated. Um, it's all been plasterboarded out. Um, because when I bought the house, um, this room was basically completely rotten. All the water was dripping from the ceiling. Um, the floor was completely um, rotten. I had to take up all the joists. I had to do that in pretty much everywhere in the house. But, yeah, so it's all been renovated. Um, and I recently swapped it around. My desk used to be over there, but now it's over here because there's a step just as I walk in through my, my door to my office. Um, but I've got the, I've got the desk half on the step and half not on the step with a slight different, um, level to the desk. Um, but it means that I can use the area around the step, um, much better now. I can sit there and I can then store all the stuff down this end of the office. So I've got this, I've got a couple of different rooms in the house that I use to store stuff and I've got my a listed storage garage outside but most of my work goes on around here on this table i do my packing on there most of the time sometimes i take my packing through to the living room and then do it do it as i'm watching a movie but that's usually when i have a big long um um session of 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 packaging because um i had to catch up after a weekend away or something like that um, 
I will take it through there and watch a movie as I'm I'm doing it. But most of my work goes on in this office. Yeah, everybody's wishing um, Laney the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary. I mean, I'm I'm still going to my Hermes drop-off point um, pretty much every day, um, and I I go to the shops like once a week or something. I try to avoid stuff as much as I can, but you know, it's like the Hermes guy knocked on the door today. I opened it, and he was like literally in my, you know in my face. I had to take a step back. You know, sometimes you you can't avoid things. It's Is that flooring you photograph on? Yeah, it's a big roll of lino. I've actually got a massive amount of it here. Um, so, yeah, it's just lino flooring, but I do want to replace it with something that's a little bit better because I don't. I, before I had a. a um, it's one of those projector screens that I laid out, and that was really good when it was brand new, but it got very dirty very quickly. Um, so I put this lino over the top of it, and it does make quite nice pictures. I quite like it because the the darker background seems to make the um, item stand out a little bit more on my camera. Um, whereas before, when I was um, using um, the white background, it used to sort of reflect the light a bit more. Um, and and think if I was listing something that that was was all black like a hi-fi for example you couldn't really see the buttons but now you can with that background um but i do want to replace it so it doesn't look like flooring because i think people then think i'm just listing stuff on my floor um which i you know i don't really want to do dave says our house is needing taking back to brick in almost every room, but got there in the end. 150 year old house, big but needed effing doing. Yeah, I, I, well, I'm still renovating my, I've got an 1850s cottage, um, stone built thing. Um, all the joists needed replacing on the floors. Um, they were literally in the earth and they were completely rotted. And there was no sort of air gap or anything um so i had to dig down a little bit to create um an air gap put in air bricks put new joists in new flooring and pretty much rip down every root every um wall in the house and and put up new walls and a different design and pretty much did it um myself so it's it's quite a quite an ongoing thing there's still a lot to do um i've also got outbuildings i want to convert for the business longer term as well um hi ricky thanks for coming by yeah it is never ending um <laughs> this um i find it i find it more difficult now working from home as well um that, that i'm always here I feel like I also need to be getting on with work as well. I will um I will get it finished. It's just a slow pro process. Okay, so um I'm gonna get back to a bit more more photography. Um I could do these records. I've got some um, vinyl records here that I got out. Not worth a huge amount, but again, I, I need to be listing this stuff. If I keep on putting it off, it's just never going to get listed. So um, it's got to be done, basically. So Let's have a look what we've got. We've got Rod Stewart, Saturday Night Fever, 
now music for oh well, i was going to say now music too but there's, there's not actually a disc in it so that's not there and michael jackson bad um don't know how much these are worth in fact now music four has only got one of the things in so that's no good either saturday night fever has two discs in the vinyl looks okay actually Jackson, yeah, looks okay as well. I mean, there's the odd little scuff. Um, that's got its um, inner sleeves. Yeah, it's good condition as well. Okay, so let's get these listed anyway as a start. To the vinyl um what i need to do all this stuff that i don't particularly like listing and um, what i plan to do is do like three or four every so often because i've probably got about 50 vinyl records um i need to do bundles as well i've got some like, trance ones that looking on ebay they're really not worth that much but if i can do a bundle for like 20 pound a lot you know it'll be a a good thing, I think. So I'll take the front cover, the back cover. I'm no vinyl expert, really don't know anything about it. Um, I'm assuming that the inner sleeve is also a good thing to have. So I'm going to take a photo of that. And I'll also take the record out. Um, I might as well take a photo of the record as well. See, I don't know whether this time is worth my time or this effort. I think this is worth about a tenner delivered, which you know, is, is okay, I suppose. Um, so that's Rod Stewart album done. I'm um, going to have to think of a way to store these as well. Michael Jackson Bad. It's actually quite a good album, this is. Give it a bit of a wipe because it's a little bit dusty. Marks on it as well, so you get them out. Yeah. I know there's a few sellers that do a lot of vinyl um, in the reselling community. Um, I know nothing about vinyl. All I know is that the stuff I've had hasn't been particularly good is this called gatefold is that the correct term for you know the, the folding here i don't know um this has got its inner sleeve as well which i guess it's worth taking a photo of separately These are all, yeah, this is all the lyrics to all, this, all the songs, I think. Yeah, 
Okay, so that one's done. So it doesn't take too long to do. Saturday Night Fever, I've no idea if that's worth it. I didn't look that one up. But I'm assuming it's it's worth something because it's you know, obviously popular. But who knows? It might be worthless. I have no idea. This is how... Um, actually, I'll wait for that to dry before I... Um, Take that photo because you can you can see where I've wiped it. I'll do that first. This is the gatefold type as well, I guess. And this comes with two um, two records. So I'll take a quick photo of both. If there's any vinyl record sellers in, um, is how I'm taking the photos and stuff and presenting it in the photos the right thing to do. It'd be good to know. So this sort of stuff I'm probably going to price to sell. Um, I don't want to be hanging on to it for too long. Now I've got it, now I'm going to be listed at. So I think that's all the vinyl I'm going to do for today. I don't think I'm going to do any more vinyl. Um, I think where I'm going to put it. Um, I will be listing more vinyl, so it's probably worth me. I'm going to put it up there for now. In there. Um, I'm going to have to create a new little tub just for vinyl, I think. Let me have a look at the chat. Um, gatefold. Right, that's good to know. I'll, I'll um, add that to my keywords. Yeah, I think Nick originally wanted to list some stuff and then he ended up um, just talking about music. I came on sort of mid that. I'm not a music person, but um, it was a decent chat. I have got, I'll, sh I'll show, show you some of the other albums I've got. I'm not going to list them, but I've got things like this, which is... You see anything that I don't think they're worth anything, but they're they're like club mixes, and I've never heard of any of these people. There's loads of this sort of thing. And then I've also got country and western stuff. Um You know, these were, I mean, they've got charity stick, charity shop stickers. I bought them from an auction, um, mainly because there was a few decent ones like what we've seen, like Michael Jackson, and I've already sold some of the some of them as well. Um, all this sort of stuff, no idea what, what it's worth. There's also other things in here, it's like, like Bing Crosby. Um, but 
Berber Dixon, Barry Manilow. So yeah, no idea if they're worth listing separately or not. Okay, this is something I really want to get rid of, so I'm going to get this listed. This is a scooter, or well, scooter parts, really. And it's actually brand new with she shelf damage, so we say. And it's just parts. It hasn't got any wheels or, or anything like that to it. Um, so it's, it's just going to be listed as is. I take plenty of photos of I really don't know whether this is worth anything, but it's got to be listed. Okay. Next up is this. Now, I bought this from a car boot sale. You might have seen it in one of my boot sale hauls. Um, comes with some lawn bowls. There's only two in there, but well, it's the things. And I've got some no idea what that is. Does anybody in the chat know what these are? Spalding. They've got one, they've got numbers on. Tape measure here, bowling tape measure. <coughs> Some bowling shoes in here as well, which, which have seen better days, shall we say. Puma. I don't think they're going to be sellable. Cloth here to clean your balls. City of Edinburgh Bowling Tournament, 1987. Okay, so I mean, the main reason I think I bought this was for the, the bag, the Dunlop bag. So that needs to be given a bit of a clean up. Um, I really don't know what to do with these things. I'm just going to stick them in this bag for now. Probably going to ch chuck all this away, to be honest with you. These shoes are too far gone, surely. I don't know, the vintage Puma. Yeah, so if anybody knows what that is, I'm going to check the chat in a minute. Don't know what that is. I'll probably list that separately. Check the chat. 
refurbish the pumas really are they worth anything yeah vinyl is having a bit of a resurrection um but yeah i don't know if i want to keep them for too long um golf cover cover for what what do you cover with them so i've got Oh, is it for your your golf clubs? Would they be worth anything, do you think? They're in pretty poor condition. Um, I'll get these bowls listed. Give them a bit of a wipe. two of them saw quite a few bowls before these are marked with CS on them hard to get the I'm assuming these will be 80s because they're um, they were in the this is 1958 here Would they, could these be from the 50s? Anybody know? I'm going to put these aside. Actually, what I'll do first, um, if I can find my thing, there you go. What I have been doing with bowls is putting them on the scales and then. I can put a photo of how much they weigh because that always helps if right, so um put them there. to do this tape measure as well.
Okay, so that can see a one as well. There is tape measure C A one. Let me check the chat on those golf things. Um Golf cover, refurbish the pumas for clubs, clean up, they'll sell. Old but potential gold, like Derek today. Well, um, Puma. So, um, um, I'll bring them over here. So the soles on these pumas look like that. If they're not golf, are they? I assume these are for the bowling, the bowls. I don't know how they clean up. I could just list them cheap as they are. No, they're no good because as soon as you bend them, look, they're cracking. The soles are all cracked. They wouldn't. They would basically just rip as soon as I bent them. So, yeah, they're not going to be sellable. Um... Okay, let's have a look at these golf club covers. I'm sure they had a brand on them. Is it Spalding? Was it? So I think it's going to be a case of doing a bundle, even if. Spalding. This person's person's photo is not very good, is it? Okay, so this is the stuff. I mean, obviously, these are in packets. Yeah, I guess it does no harm to list them, does it? Shame this seventies. Would they be worth anything like as a prop or anything like that? Seems a shame to to dump them, but seventies makes sense because there was the eighties um, leaflet in the bag. I'll just take a photo of these as they are and see what they sell for. They're pretty ripped.
if I can get a tenner delivered for them, it's better than, better than nothing. Not playing. They flat. I'm going to have to do this quick. There we go. Yeah, they are all Spalding ones. Would these be from the 70s as well, do you think? Is that... you reckon, or...? In, in a little bag, keep them, keep them protected. This is where you get a good variety of items on my on my list on my photographing sessions. You know, iPhone. Alarm clocks and vintage golf stuff. Golf covers. Old golf covers. Right, let's take another. Uh, I go in the storage. Um, let me take this off. There we go. Um, oh, Richard's back. Yeah, I'm still going. Um, yeah, I'll list that bag now, I think. And this is the same situation. It's a bit grubby. I'll give it a... Give it a toke of white. I don't want to, I don't like to clean things up too much and portray it being better than it actually is because when they actually get it and see it in real life, um, they're going to obviously be disappointed and that's how you get returns and all of this. I'd rather just get a little bit less for it but get a realistic price on something and whoever buys it is knows what they're getting, you know what I mean? And they know they're getting an, an older item. Right, I'll just wait for that to dry. Um, and I shall go and get something else. I'm sure I've got some good stuff out here. Yeah. Okay, I found, found quite an interesting item here. I've had this for like two years. This is quite interesting, so keep 
we'll keep on the line for that. I'll be taking them out of the bag in a minute. Um, I'm just going to give this a bit of a wipe with my tea towel. what I sometimes do is I put stuff in the bag to make it the right shape um, just by putting that in just brings up that top bit so you can present the bag a little bit better need to do is just show that there's pockets on this as well but generally just a couple of photos showing the right down I should be able to just do that, I think, will be the way to present that. That would be fine. No, it's just... Or do I measure the... I'll measure it. A little bit of a break in that there. Look, so I'll do, do a photo of that. I'll measure it sideways as well. And just to, just to give a rough idea on the height. That's it. Actually, I should show the bottom as well, shouldn't I? Let me do, a, do that as well. I think that bag was a bit of a bad buy because I think it was ten pound for the bag and all the contents, but think I might have overspent on that. Um, now I've lost the other hairs. Right, so let me just check the chat before I do that. It's a great bag. Yeah, it's a nice bag. It's a bit, it's a bit in a, a rougher condition, but somebody will like it, I would have thought. Yeah, patina. Spalding is a US company. Yeah, I've seen on quite a lot of sports type stuff. Okay, so I've got this bag of stuff. Now, if anybody um, follows Ken Chapman, um, you'll know that he sells, or he used to sell, I don't know what he's doing at the moment, but he used to sell a lot of um, photographs and postcards, that sort of thing. And me being, um, you know, being at the auction and I see this and I think, well, 
he's doing very well so maybe it's something i need to get into so i bought a big pile of postcards they didn't really cost a lot i think you know i think they were like five of the lot or something like that i wouldn't have spent a lot on them um all vintage i think um i assume they're all vintage but I've never actually listed them, done anything with them. I, I did actually list two or three separately, tell a lie. Um, and I didn't get any sales. <laughs> um, I think it's a numbers game. I think you've got to list basically them all. But obviously, most of them probably won't sell. You might get the odd one that will sell and do quite well on it. So I've decided just to bundle them up. So this is what I'm going to do just now. I'm going to basically just spread all these out and um, get a photo taken of them and give them a count them probably as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll, show, I'll give you an idea of what they are. Things like that. Um, this is um, Blam's Castle Dining Room in Dundee. Um, this is... Um, St. Ives, um, greetings from the East Nuke of Fife, you know, there's a load of like religious type ones in here, there's an old one, um, this is High School and Law from Albert Square, Dundee, see, that should sell, that should sell, somebody should want that, surely. Maybe I'll do different bundles because you've got these dining room ones from Blair Castle. Maybe I could do like a castles one. Maybe I could do like a number of different ones. Yeah, I think these internal internal postcards from various Scottish castles. I could separate them out, couldn't I? There's one of like the actual castle. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. And I've got these religious ones as well. I'll do those. I'll do those separately as well. So all the religious ones, castles, um, the Dundee ones, I'll do separately. That might be the way to do it. Um, Tulrus Palace, more castles, more castles. Yeah, this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to do postcards for each castle. I'll do some scenery ones as well, because there's a few. See, that one's Hampton Course Palace, London. Um, that's Hampton Course Court Palace. That's Windsor Palace. That's a hotel in Scotland. Another hotel. Scenery, scenery. Castle. Religion. Oh, that's religion, isn't it? Religion. 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 Botanic gardens. Um, Hampton Court Palace. Um, this is Q. I don't know where that is. Um, St. George's Chapel. And another castle. 
Oh, some more here. Scenery, scenery, scenery. Castle, castle, castle. But these old black and white ones that I don't think they're actually that old. An Argyle stag there. Um, Fort William. Ben Nevis. Um, St. Andrew's Castle. There's more castles. This one is St. Andrew's Castle. So you can see all the old cars there. Um, Argyle, Tay Capron Hotel. Um, more castles, more castles. So I was hoping to do just Scottish castles, but I've got to be careful because there's some stuff from Westminster Abbey in here as well. So it's hard to, I can't just quickly do it. I need to. Have a look, see what they are. This is from St. Ives. Oh no, it's printed in St. Ives. It's Glam's Castle. More Scottish castles there. Glam's Castle. Another Dundee one, that's the War Memorial in Dundee. So these are very old photos, so you would have thought they would they would be in demand. More castles, more castles. Looking on that. These are all castles. Um, that one's North Walworth Castle, Northumberland. I think I'm going to have to do castles and then say mostly Scottish, a couple of English ones. Can't be bothered to list these too much separately. Coming to the end of it now. More religion stuff. Castle, castle, castle. So that's Leeds. Um, right, okay, so that's narrowed it down a little bit. Just gonna chip, I'm just gonna chip these ones in with these. General castles. Um, I'm going to just chip these in as well. These are like religious ones from cathedrals and and churches. I'm just going to going to chip them in as well. I'm going to do the Dundee ones as a separate lot. That might have some interest. Now I've got these ones which. Um, five villages, I might do them separately. And then I've got these ones, which are like black and white ones from um, different areas in, in Scotland. So I'll do them as a separate lot. Got these ones from 
Ben Nevis and from Wester Ross. I don't know whether they're worth listing separately. I might just put them in with all the scenery stuff because I've got stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm, the thing I'm going to do these lots. So out of those, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five different lots. Let me have a look at the chat. See what you think. Yeah, oh, I don't know, because I, I don't mind bundling them. I don't mind those sort of bundles, but I don't want to be listing them separately. Um, but I need to get rid of them. I've had them for so long now. So, yeah, I'm going to list them. Um, List the smaller ones first. This thin D one. I just I don't really want to knack at the photo. It's got like a little stain or something like it. Well, I just have to list it the way it is. Don't want to spend too long on this. Um, there we go. And I'll take a photo of the back. Okay, so how am I going to store these? This is the problem. I've got these little bags. Don't that will fit actually. That one, these ones will fit. Yeah, so that I can store. I store those ones in that. That's quite nice. So let's put that aside. Right, and these ones. Um, Helensborough from the pier. Anstruther. I really don't know whether these are worth doing separately or not. I might just put them on with these ones. Scottish landmarks. Um... Yeah, they do seem to be Scotland ones. I'm just going to lay them out, I think, best I can. People can... doubles in here as well but that'll do and take a few more close up So, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty-three there. I'm just gonna, just gonna take a photo of that as well. Um, there's twenty-three photos there, so I'm gonna write that down. in this envelope um, let me just go and get some sellotape I think somebody will want them. Um, do a search inferior Scottish castles. Okay, let me share my screen. Um, Okay, so there's certainly money in it. See, there's one here, like one pound sixty, and that's great. But I've got a list of each one, don't I? See, that one's gone for twenty six, twenty two pounds, and that's is that much different than the stuff I've got? Oh, that's a book. That is a book. No, fair enough. There'd be somebody who wants them then, yeah. Right, 23. Scottish landmarks. Right, so I've put them in this envelope. Let me just put the screen on, sorry. Um, yeah, so I've put them in this, this envelope and then I take a photo of the envelope so then I can see what's in there. So when I come to list it, I'll know. Um, I'll put these aside. One of these hidden WB1. Um, and so, WB1. Okay, so, um, so these, there's quite a few here. Um, I've got these older ones, um, which I'll also do separate. So I don't know how old these actually are. These could be, I don't know if they're, but they probably are vintage, but probably not that old. I think they're more, they to look old. 
not sure with these ones, but I'll take Let's flip them over. do with these I think is keep them I don't know whether they fit in this little bag I don't know no yeah. the bag here that's a bit too big um, I've usually got little envelopes lying about but I'll stick them in this envelope here. There you go. with the others. Okay. So there's quite a few postcards here so I don't really know how I'm going to the photo is what I might do. I'll take a photo. That. Literally just going to spread them out like this. There we go. They get they get the idea from that. What what sort of things? there. I don't want to um, I don't want to spend too long on these. Take a few photos. Let me spread them out again. Seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, forty, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, f
So I think I'm going to list them as A2 postcard. And they get a couple of freebies, as it were. Pleased with that, that's that bundle of postcards sorted, which has been a bit of a nightmare, really. Because ever since I bought them, I put them off and put them off. At least now they're sorted, and I can hopefully get them sold. Right, I'm just going to take a three or four minute break. Um, I'm just going to throw in some food and make another coffee. Hiya Jason, thanks for joining. I dip in and out of selling between the day job we've done for about 20 years, currently out of stuff to sell now. Yeah, I used to be um, part time and um, I really started building it up when I started working from home in my full time job. Um, and built up the business basically like that um, throughout in the evenings and and in in downtime and stuff. And um, I built it up, and then I ended up going full time. Yeah, I think I've been doing it since well on eBay since nineteen ninety nine. Um, I've been doing it. Um, on and off. I went, it was probably about 10 years when I basically didn't really do much. Um, and then I started it back up again. Um, before then, I used to do car boot sales and buy stuff from car boot sales one week, clean stuff up, and then and sell it on the following week. I had a market stall at a car, um, car boot sales and markets as well, um, selling computer stuff. The reselling's always been part of my life, really. I'm only 21, plus 20 years on top. Yeah, I'm 42 um, in about two weeks' time. Um, <laughs> creeps up on you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go make another coffee, and I'm going to... Um, chuck some junk food in the oven. So, yeah, I'll be back in a few moments.
Okay, I'm I'm back. Um, briefly, I'm just going to check check something. Okay, right. That's that done. Um, okay, let's see. It's in chat. Um, oh, oh, we've had a few people come in. Hang on. Joanne's in. Hi, Joanne. Um. Did you get lost in all that tat? Yeah, it'd be, be quite easy to get lost in it. Coffee break. Yeah, I have coffee now. Hiya, Peter. Everybody's saying hello to Peter. Didn't realise Nick was on so late last night. Yeah, I think he went on for quite a while after I left. 3am. Creating short stories, yeah. Let's cut a long story short. Yeah, Krillin was on um, maybe for about half an hour before I, I called it a night. Hurricane Ian's in, hiya. Yeah, so I've put in some chicken burgers for my lunch. So um, they take about 20 minutes to cook. Um, so I've got to think of something else to list. Um, I've got this that I got out from my storage. It was one of those list listings that seemed to be got unlisted for some reason. But I didn't, I didn't relist it, and I can't remember why now. I'm not sure whether, whether it worked. Maybe I should test this. I might do is I go and get my screwdriver because I think you've got to take the back off. This is probably why I didn't do it. Got to take the back off. It's a vintage multimeter, and I think they do quite well. Um, let me um, let me have a look. See how much they go for. Um, this is a G uh, twenty one hundred. Um, there might not be any on there because it's it's vintage. Um, uh, but what I can do, I can check. Um, I can have a look on Google as well. I'm just coming up with garden tractors. I 
Okay, let me um, have a look on. Um, I'll have a look on Terra Peak. None have sold on Terra Peak either. The past year. Oh, here you go. Eighteen pound fixed price. Okay, so it's worth it's worth me listing. What I do need to do is test it though. I'm sure I've already already tested them. We go and get my screwdriver. Okay. This is actually a brand new item, so it should work fine. Test it. That is hard to fit. Fuse might have blown. A little fuse here. Sorry, I've got it in your view. A little fuse here, um, and that looks like it's blown. Bear one in here. Let's put that in. Doesn't appear to be working at all. Oh, now it's working. Do you see that? So what I'm going to do, take a photo. There we go. Take a photo of the 
the spy on. I believe that fuse out because I don't know if that fuse was naked or not. And put the back back on. In fact, what I'll do, I'll take a photo of that as well. Because people are going to have to put We're going to have to take the back off to put the batteries in. At least I can list it now. You can also see it's made in Japan. Always a great thing. I don't think I'm going to sell this as brand new though because I'm not 100% sure if it is. So what I'm going to do, it's got the manual on the box. Very dusty. It's been sitting on my computer desk for ages as well. I'm just going to list it basically like that. And there, that's the double wrap background here. Let's try and think that I must have just gone down the side like that. Okay, so I've got to put that somewhere, I can put that. Put that down there. This has to be five. Hey Keely, thanks for popping by. Yeah, I've seen all these shorts videos coming out. Um, I'm not keen on them either, really. Um, I haven't done one yet. I might do that. I did actually record one, but I just thought it was a bit of a, a bit of a rubbish video, <laughs> so I just didn't bother uploading it. The photo cam gives a great view of your bald spot, Derek. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's getting bigger, unfortunately. Weird form. I won't be doing them often. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> just, just for men. I should wear my cap. I've got a cap somewhere, or a hat. Where is it? Yeah. This. There we go. I look like I'm, look like I'm um, from the nineties in Manchester now, don't I? Like, like, <laughs> like um, Oasis or something. Chris has done a, a couple of interesting ones. 
Yeah, I liked his, I thought his uh, most recent one, or I assume it's the most recent one. Um, I, won't, I won't say what it, <laughs> what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was really funny. Okay, um, I guess I need to find another item. I'll go into my death piles and um, see what there is. I don't know if I can actually wonder. Let me see if I can join the stream on my phone and I could take you into my death pile room. Um, let me see if I can do that. Let me see. I generally check it as I'm doing the photos, so I'll clean it, photograph it. Sometimes I'll check. I mean, there's a couple of things. The um, the i the iPod dock I listed earlier um i took the photos of that and i still need to test that with the iphone dock um, and the auxiliary in um i can't really do that because i connect up to my computer um speakers um for the auxiliary anyway and and that means i've got to play mu play music or something through the computer which will mess up the stream so i'll do i'll do that later on um I just wanted to see if I could join the stream on my phone. So I'm just going to message myself link. Okay, so let's see if this works because this may not work, but it might be interesting. And we can see one of my death pile rooms. I don't know if there'll be some sort of feedback though. That's the, the only thing, but death pile cam. Right. <laughs> right okay so sorry about that if you got any nasty feedback um oh yeah i'm in you can see there you go so i'm now going to now I'm going to flip the cam and take you into my death cams. Death piles, sorry.
I know what's happened. I never added it to the, I never added it to the um, stream, did I? How do I make it full screen? Uh huh. Right. I'm going to go back in then. <laughs> Fingers crossed you can um, now see me because I can't see the chat. Uh, does this work? Let me know. I've put the chat on briefly on my phone just so I can see. So if somebody can just say whether it works or not, that'd be good. I can see now. Can, and can you hear me as well? <laughs> Richard says, don't get lost in there. Right, okay. T take two. Although my alarm's going off from a burger now, so um, I'll show you the death room quickly. Yeah, this is the death pile room. Um, so I've got it all shelved out in here. Um, I've already done all this, but I'll do it all again. <laughs> These, this is basically all stuff that's that's a hassle. It's got something wrong with it that I've put aside to fix. Um, there's a nice um, mixer there that really needs parting out. That would probably be a good thing to get. Let's uh, got some board games here. That, um, game that oh, down, here down down this, down this road down right at the bottom here. Um, uh, it's missing. I've got issues. Um, just full of random stuff. Yeah. Um, foot peddy. A CD stereo. Dennis the Menace. And there's more stuff down here. Um, Books for um, keyboards, um, Skybox up there, um, loads of stuff boxes here full of random tats. Don't even know what's in here. Oh, these are old um, Baker Light stuff. Um, down here, there's. More things we control the thing. Maps, cassettes. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I might I might crack this open because there's a few good telephones in there. They sell cribbage boards, um, vintage game there, look. Um, so, yeah, yeah that's basically, basically the, main the main death pile room. Um, I have got others, um, but they're getting a bit thin on the ground. So there's this as well, a little spooky doll there. In fact, I might get that out and get that listed. That would be a good thing to get rid of. Um, I think there's a steamer down there as well. Um, and there's a, you know, one of those um, bath, the Babyliss bath things. I think that that's all fine, but it's very dirty. So I might, I might see if I can get that listed. There's a load of plates up here. Those boxes there are all um, collectible plates. I think, I think they might be. Um, let's see if I can get one. Hang on. This is where I die trying to climb up. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna be. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let me put that up there. There we go, Royal Dalton. Um, 
We'll build some plates. Of authenticity and all of that bins. I've um, got loads of them, as you can see. They probably need listing. Right, so I'm going to go back to my office because my burgers. Um, I've lost what I was bringing out now. Where's that doll gone? Spooky dolls escaped. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's hit the doll out. Um, access in here is difficult as well because the, there's tubs on the floor of stuff, so you've got to step, step over it. Okay. And back into my office. Okay, so um, hope you enjoyed that um, that little walk into my bathroom. I managed to pick a bag of their various stuff up from there, so I'll get that listed in a minute. I'm just going to go and sort my chicken out. So um, give me two or three minutes.
Okay, I've got my chicken burgers. Um, let me see if I can. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, let me catch up in the chat. Just before I left there, I noticed that somebody had said that the la there was a lot of lag in the death pile room. Um, <laughs> <it's worth laughs> Dodgy Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, I had my Google, um, Google Play thing, my Google speaker to um shout me when my burger was ready in fact i might do that as when i'm eating because i hate to watch other people eat so i'll save you the I'll save for you the the horror. Hey, could you hear the alarm as well? <laughs> it's quality quality production values on this channel, you know. Massive lag. But audio was okay. Wi-Fi is dodgy. It was so bad, Peter has left. <laughs> How do you go to the toilet in that bathroom? Yeah, the toilet hasn't been used for a long, long time. Um, what I've got is um, it's all still all plumbed in. I know, I know, you know all this, Richard. But I'll, the benefit of the rest of the chat, um, I've got. Um, shelving that basically floats over the top of the toilet the the toilet is that that room is my old bathroom um it's the old 60s bathroom but i've got a new bathroom elsewhere in the house um so that one's literally storage just just now yeah the whole house is stone it's from the 1850s doesn't exist here I'm afraid <laughs> most of the resellers are struggling for stock Derek is set on 12 rooms of quality merchandise problem is it's not quite quality it's more it's more bad quality Practically, is not is not a, not a um, reseller. Chicken burger, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Yeah, I've got chicken. I've got a chicken burger. I've got some cheese, and um, I've got some bacon mayonnaise, which is really nice. Eating with Derek. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Yeah, if anybody wants to pop on with me and be a little video in the in the corner of the stream. Um, let me know and I'll send you the link. Um, yeah, that's right. It's from Aldi. It's the first time I've had it. It's okay. Um, but I prefer the, I think you get a chunky burger sauce. I prefer that for burgers and things, but. The bacon mayonnaise is, is okay. 
I'll probably get it again. Yeah, I don't mind it. Just sending out some um, best offers. Hope everybody's sales are doing well um, today. I don't know if I said hello to Grant. Welcome. Okay, that's me finished my chicken, so I'll put the camera back on. Um, Richard's had 16 sales since yesterday. That's good. Very good, actually. I haven't been... Um, I suppose I have had a few sales, but it's been very slow. You know, I've had some decent um, high t higher ticket items sell. Had a PlayStation 2 sell yesterday. I had a um, set of folding chairs sell. A couple of other things. So they're quite they're quite good. Um, got a couple of Etsy sales as well. Okay, so shall we find out what's in the bag? I have no idea what's in this bag, so this is going to be um, this is going to be new to me as well. Don't know what that is. 
So little fabric bits on like holes. I don't know what that is. These just look like tins, tobacco tins, probably with a with a picture on it. What looks like old tobacco in it. I'm almost scared to open what these are. I don't even know how this, this opens. <sighs> don't even open that. to damage it but oh here you go probably isn't it open there and after all that there's nothing in it yeah so not too great it's the zigzag rolling box I don't smoke, so I don't know anything about these. This looks, this is new anyway, isn't it? Oh, that must be what these things are. These things to go inside this thing. Yeah, they are. Look, there's the. Zigzag. So basically, that was a box of smoking stuff let's have a look see if this sells Big zag rolling box. All right, that's useful, isn't it, eBay? Oh, here you go. Aha! <laughs> it's not going to make my millions then, considering mine's second hand. So the zigzag thing's not worth anything. So that can go. That can be got rid of. Um, I very much doubt that's worth anything either. It's just knackered. I'm just going to chuck that as well, I think. Oh, I forgot to put the camera on. Um, yeah. yeah, that that I'm just going to throw away because it's all bashed up. Um, and it's not worth the hassle. So I think I'm going to list both of these as old tobacco tins and just stick them on for like... Four ninety nine or something. Be better if I. I might go back into. Let me go back into my storage, and see. And see if I can um, find any more. used to have the one that I paid to open a few years ago. Uh, I've done well off tins and stuff before, but let me see if I've got any more tins because I can make one big bundle then.
Okay, I've got a few things. Let me. <clears throat> well, Chris B is in. Hi, Chris B. Afternoon, where Derek is. <laughs> I'm not sure if that is sarcasm. I've been to buys packaging all morning. Okay. Found another one of these. The roll up thing. So I'm just going to stick. In fact, what I should do, shouldn't I? I should just. I should just stick it all together, shouldn't I? Rather than. They just get it all, whether they like it or not. This is what they get. Simple as that. Right, so that's what I'm doing. They can have that. A couple of quick photographs. Bish, bash, bosh. And a couple from that angle. Right, that's it. That's all the time I'm spending on that because it's just a load of rubbish. next item I found was this, a Canon PowerShot 430 digital camera. As before, I expect that this has had leaky batteries in the past. This is probably worthless. Um, I don't know what way the batteries go, I don't know, I think. Um, if it even works. It does work. Um, oh, lens error, restart camera. So maybe it doesn't work. Right, yeah. yeah. It's just coming up lens error restart camera, so this one looks like it's for the tip as well. I'll see if it's worth anything because it, it's possible it's worth me listing um, spares repairs, but I very much doubt it with this. Digi old digital cameras are basically worthless at the moment. I think they will have their time, but oh, it does actually sell for a decent amount. So maybe I should just list it. There's a fully working one there for. Um, Yeah, and it's not going to be worth me listing it. I'll try one more time with some another set of batteries, just in case the batteries were dodgy. So 
those batteries. Those batteries must be back. Last time Chant Saloon with his camera. No, lens error. Restart camera. No, that's, I'm not selling that. It's just. It would be worth it. I'll keep this. Minolta case there. I'll keep that. So I might have a camera that fits it. That's a shame. I think it's... I assume the little motor... I'm going to try one more time. I assume the little motor that drives the, the lens um, could be dodgy. It's still doing the same. That's a that's a bit of a shame. Um, Everybody's saying hello to Chris and Anita. Oh, Chris B is using the two pound final value fee promotion. Okay. Get rid of these batteries because these were no good. Right. This is a vintage um, set of cards, bonus of things. All sorts lager. Actually, cards stuck together. How many can someone remind me how many cards should be in a pack? Is it 53 or something? Somebody could let me know and I couldn't count them then. This is in a leather case, but these cards are, must have got damp or something at some point. This is. <laughs> One for Andrew. There you go. Wreck some. Pills and a lager beer. Not Taurus, but Wreck some. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. And then they come in a nice little case as well. A bit of wipe over. Fifty four with the two jokers. Right, so Right, so there could be 52 without jokers. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, if I turn it the other way, I'll be able to see whether it's the jokers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
52, no jokers. So they don't have jokers in. I'm guessing it's the same, but I'll check it anyway. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that might be worth listing. in the presentation box. In fact what I'll do I'll put them I'll put them like that first. Put the put the box there and then take a photo. I would have thought that these would have come from the auctions at some point in the past. Um, certainly well over a year probably since I would have purchased these though. So there's another nice little item. Pop that in there. And um, how's your down cards? WD1. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at school. Uh, I can't be bothered to check whether they're the actual cards. I'm guessing, as long as there's 52 with no jokers, then that's good enough for me. They've all got the same backs on them, so must be correct. Rich is in. Hello, Rich. Oh, John's in as well. I miss John. Hi, John. I've got a few. I um, don't know if I've got them here. No, I don't know where I put them now. I've sorted out a few of those CDs for you, um, but I'll I'll keep on. So I'm sorting through loads of this stuff now, so um, I'll, I'll create a nice little batch up. And let me know if you're interested in empty cases as well, because I've got a few empty cases of some good Wii games and Mario games, but um, they haven't got the discs in. Um, I was just going to discard them, but um, I don't know whether you ever come across the loose discs. Might be useful to you. They shouldn't need the jokers. Yeah, there wasn't any jokers in there. The only joker in this room is me. Snap. Okay, so the next item is, is this, oh hang on, 
Right, you might actually be able to see it this time. The yeah, next item is this, which is vintage St. Michael talcum powder. Um, trying to actually, yeah, there's stuff in there. Stinks. <laughs> okay, so, um, I have no idea whether that's worth anything, but it says it's from 1991, so it's got to be worth something. So Michael Rosamond, a finely blended fragrance talcum powder that leaves the skin feeling silky smooth. Made in the UK. Copyright MS 1991. Right, there you go. There you go, talcum powder. No idea where I'm going to put that. Sure, I'll put that in one of these little sealed bags. Put it at the back as it's to be D1. So, tea cakes is in. Hiya, tea cakes. Oh, you want the cases? Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep you the, um, you know, what I would class as the decent games. Um, You know, um, then there's loads of um, more rubbish stuff there that hasn't got um, discs that you, I doubt if you actually want that. But there's a couple of Mario Kart, not Mario Kart. Um, I think it's um, some Mario platformer for the Wii. It still smells okay. Probably been sealed up for thirty years. Okay. Right, so I've got Singapore Airlines magnetic backgammon chess and checker set. Is it sixteen of each colour on the chest that you that you um, have? I think that's right, isn't it?
we've got the dice, Oops, three dice, one, two, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I'm using these bags, Richard, from the, the olden days. One. Okay. Let's have a look in the chat. Um, 
Tea cakes of vintage tag stopwatch. Can't decide whether to auction it or not. They sell for four fifty. A few and far between. Um, don't know. Um, I like to just put my nails on. Um, but I, if I'm not sure how much it's going to go for, I usually just put it at a really, really high price. So stick it on for four nine nine, and see see what offers you get maybe. Um, I don't particularly like auctions, but um, certain rare things, you know, is worth putting them on maybe. So a few hundred of those left myself here. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got a box of them. You know, the, the little cardboard boxes they came in. I'm sure there's a box underneath my desk. And I've got that bag I'm currently using. I'm sure there's some in the loft as well. Vintage now. Yeah. Maybe I should list the bags. Maybe start the auction the minimum you want. Yeah. That might be a way. Um you, if it's rare enough and you're and you're sure you're gonna get a couple of different people who want it then it may be worth doing, I suppose. Okay, um, I've got this. Um which I think goes with one of those machines. You know those Maybe I should keep these until I get one of those machines. Two J and J. <laughs> There's nothing in there. I thought that was going to be money or something. Right, so, what do you reckon? Wait until I get one of these bottles and then do a bundle. Bear in mind, I do see them at the auctions. Or should I just list these and then list these? What do you reckon? I'm going to have a quick eBay of the item. See here, somebody's got £12 for the bottle with the tablets. There's not many on there. People are selling the these boxes. So, so these are quite heavy, but how do I know whether they've got anything in them? Is there a way to find out? Seven. It's that which I think is the 
is the thing you put it in, isn't it? Put it in like that and then screw it down to the, the bottle. So what do you reckon? Think I should wait until I get a bottle? Should I list that with it? Or keep that until I get the bottle? What do people think in the chat? And somebody's got the ball holder seven pound here, so it probably is worth me selling it separately. May as well wait. Just remember where you put them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I might just list them anyway. And if, if I've still got them when they... Yeah, I'll do that. If it, I'll do a bundle the way it is. And if it's still here, when I actually see one, I'll, I'll take, I can take it off, off then, can't I? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to bundle everything rather than messing about separate separate listings. You just do that basically. I don't really want to hold on for them. Instructions for it somewhere. Where did they go? Oh, here you go. Yeah, bundle it. Yeah, I bundled the lot. Um, sorry, I should have put you on the camera there, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, I bundled the lot um, and I um, put everything together. So um, 
basically it's just one massive lot there. And if I've still got it by the time I go to an auction, because I don't know when that's going to be. So, you know, if I don't, if I don't um, see one, and also it's probably not something I would buy to sell because they don't sell for a great deal. So it would probably just be in a lot and I'll probably not, not end up getting it. So no, no, I'd, I'd, I'm going to be buying it just for the sake of listing them and stuff. If I've still got them, when I get one, I'll, I can rearrange the bundle. Um, right. So it's time for the evil doll. So this doll came in a collection of dolls. For some reason, I never listed this one. I probably got fed up with listing them. Those dolls took ages to sell. No doubt, this one will be the same. Joanna doll. So she comes out with really. what's her hat anyway? <laughs> right. There she comes. Well, she's on a stand as well. There we go. Evil doll. Evil, evil. <laughs> yeah, it's on a stand. With a hat. <laughs> there we go. So we've got a ceramic head and ceramic arms. Put her back in her box now. Say goodbye, goodbye, see you later. So back in our box. What I should have done when she was out was measure her, but I know, just have to measure the box, roughly the right size.
Okay, so you only need to worry if the head starts spinning. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's more of those dolls in that bathroom as well. Talking of which, I might go back in there. I could try and do the um, the death death room camera again if anybody wants to see it. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi though, because I think the Wi-Fi signal is so poor there. Um, Okay. Here we go. So this is Death Pile Cam. Let's go. Hopefully the signal will be better, but I can't guarantee it. Okay, can anybody see anything else worth looking at? What about this? What's this? Oh, God. I know what this is. Actually, yeah, time has come. I'm going to deal with these. These are uh, stamps. If anybody saw Tom English Pickers um, live recently, he did, he did a video about stamps. This is my stamps. So, yeah, let's get them out. And um, I'll show you what I've what I've got. Um, I don't think there's anything else I could possibly list that. But I'll get that listed as well. An outdoor light there. That you know that elf on the shelf that I got um, restricted for on eBay. That is the box. So it proves that it's it was an original elf. Oh. I never listed the box, but I was going to relist it, but I just can't be bothered with any aggro, so I didn't. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I don't know, there's loads, so much in here. Let me deal with these. Um, let me deal with these first. The vintage cassette player there as well. And looks like there's a DVD player up there as well. It's got to be worth listing. Let me get these stamps out anyway. Okay. Was that any better? Was the stream any better? So I'll, I'll list this later. I think this was my actual own one from years ago. I think. 
can't remember. I could be wrong. Needs testing anyway. Give it a quick wipe over. Got some headphones that will go with that as well. Stick that there. Okay, so these are the stamps. So this is 10th of February 1982, which is three years after I was born. Royal first Royal Mail first day cover. First day of issue. Charles Darwin, first day cover. See, these could be worth a lot to the right um, thing. Oh, this is the bank notes. I bought a book of notes. I've already listed these, I think. I don't think there's any, any in here. I could probably sell that as a vintage photo album. Um, so there's that. See more of these first day covers. Um, 4D stamp here. This is July, 8th of July 1965. Royal Air Force 1968. 1980. is just nineteen seventy eight, yeah, historic buildings. Nineteen sixty eight, another nineteen sixty eight. I don't know. Nineteen eighty. Nineteen seventy-eight, nineteen sixty-nine. Captain Cook's first voyage, two hundredth anniversary, first day cover. Nineteen sixty-eight. Right, I'm going to have to do a bit of research on these. Let me pick out random amount of ones. So pick out that. Pick out the Charles Darwin one. Pick out Christmas 1986. Let's do a bit of research. Does anybody know anything about um, First day covers. See, some of these are actually just Royal Mail mint stamps, like brand new stamps. Christmas. Let's go search for Christmas first day cover. Royal Mail. See, there's somebody here that's selling it. I know they're only selling it, it's not sold. For £30. And that's basically, I mean, mine's slightly different. This one's. This one's the same age, but this one's a GPO. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, here they've got a presentation pack plus first day covers here, and they're wanting twelve pound. Let's try another one.
Yeah, that's what Tom was saying about using the stamps themselves as a as actually to post stuff with. But the ones I've got, the first day covers, they've been they've been franked. Let me just put it on my screen. Like this one, it's actually been stamped. Unless there's more, is there more inside? I know nothing about this stuff. Are there are more stamps inside. I don't want to open them. Is there something inside? Is there like a book of stamps or something? <clears throat> See, anything I can think about doing is doing like um, a bundle of all the Christmas Day covers, all the World War Two ones, or something like that. Let me do a, Let me do this World War Two. This is the. See, this is quite new. This is two thousand and ten. World War Two. Seventieth anniversary. They don't look like they're worth a great deal. Um, let me, let's see what I've actually got and sort them out. Sort them out into aisles. A bit like, a bit like what I did with the um, postcards. And then I've got something to do. So I've got Christmas ones. There's some London ones, which I could do as separate GPO ones. There's like Royal Air Force, the Churchill one. Um, Christmas, Christmas, World War Two, British Council. Is it all, all different? That's the problem. Christmas. British technology. GPO first day cover. Royal Air Force. So these are like people I could do like famous people Silver Jubilee Christmas ones.
Um, 1969, British architecture, British wildlife. So there's, there's like a bag of stamps here as well. More bags of stamps. Sort of card. Christmas, Christmas, GPO, more stamps, GPO, Christmas. Christmas. See, these are all actually um, franked stamps. So they've, they've been used and they must have just stored them all up so they just used stamps from somebody's collection i mean some stamps are worth quite a bit aren't they so what do i do with them do i do i look through them all or do i just do i just um, list them as a bundle Easy peel folded stamp hinges. Little old photo there. I'm just going to do one massive bundle. I really can't be bothered with it. What do you guys reckon I should do? Tommy, I'll whisper just so you don't wake up. Um, well, on the basis that they tend to, even if I say they're two pound each, then maybe I should just put them on. I know. Well, hang on, first day cover bundle. Let's see what other people are selling bundles for see 20 pound for like uh, mixed first day colors two thousand three 
I could do them by decade, couldn't I? I could do 60s, I could do 70s, I could do 80s. How about that? That might be the way to go. And I could do like a few different bundles and put them on basically the equivalent of, of two quid each. See, somebody's got 99p there for a big bundle of them. See, this is why collecting stuff isn't a good idea, in my personal opinion. Because you store stuff like this up for years, you die, and then whoever deals with it sends it to auction, and then somebody buys it and then has the hassle of trying to list it on, on eBay. So somebody got five pound fifty for all of these. They're pretty much worthless, aren't they? See, that's sort of similar to stuff to what I've got. Yeah, they're old, five and a half p and stuff. So they're in his one, nineteen eighty one. Same sort of thing as as mine. Nineteen seventy seven. And he got five pound fifty for a massive job lot. So what I'm, what I've got there is probably only worth a five. <laughs> I'm just going to list them all as one massive job lot for nineteen ninety nine plus postage, and I'm going to see how it goes. I can't use them as stamps because they're franked. Is there something in them? If you have a look, they've been franked. So, unless there's something inside, I don't want to open them because see, that's going to ruin it. Is there stamps inside or something? Is that what I'm missing? If somebody could let me know. I assume they're just empty envelopes or maybe with some sort of certificate in them. I'm just going to list them as one massive job lot. I think I've spent too long on them already. Again, I'm going to list these stamps separately as a bundle of used, used stamps.
Okay, so I can count roughly how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Two, three, 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 four, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, three, nine, thirty, thirty nine. 60 and there was a few extra as well so 60 first first day covers that will do happy with that All right so just got to put that in the bag I'd rather somebody who actually really wants them gets them and then they can enjoy them. Personally, I think they're rubbish. They give us. I bought them as like an experiment at the auction. Um, but yeah, certainly, certainly not something I'll be doing again. Day covers W five. Right, I'll list the stamps. Um, I might go for another half an hour or so. Uh, it's been on a while now, haven't I? So, hope people haven't found it too boring it's just me getting on with some work but. I don't think I'm even going to put them on auction. I think I'm just going to put them on a buy it now at twenty pound the lot. Streaming marathon again. Oh, did you hear the zebra prints? Yeah, I, I've got a zebra. Um, occasionally, I print out a blank label so I can stick it on 
on there, I'll just do that so I can see what's actually on the on the item. Quite useful for that. Got to go, Mr. Beisler. Auction started. Oh, okay, didn't know. Um, I don't really watch Mr. Buys buys a lot. But thanks for coming by. Yeah, I'm. I'm only going to be on for another ten ten minutes, maybe. Um, but thank you for all for popping along. Um, just trying to get some stuff listed and. I mean, I've got, well, I haven't listed all of it here, but I've got all this stored away and I've got a few things I haven't put in. I've got rid of a few decent things that um, has been hanging around for a long time. I'll do this as the last thing. Let me just put it on the Yeah, let me try this CD player out. It should work. It's come on. Right, so let me get a CD. Um, I don't need my CDs now. Oh, this has got Christmas music on. That would do. Actually, it's a CDR. It might not work. I don't know. We'll give it a go. Need to get the headphones. I don't think this is. I don't think this is reading because it's a CDR. Um, oh, here you go. It's a CD. It's got. It's got coffee on it though. I'm gonna have to clean it off. The head's a little bit of a clean because use my um, wipe and you just basically just rub it on the lens. Hopefully. 
that we're now to play. Yeah, it works. So I take the CD out. What I do is I take a photo. Open. Photo of the top. Make sure you can see that it's scratched up because there's quite a few scratches on this. compartment and the picture with the headphones Okay, so still got 21 people watching, which is pretty good for this sort of stream. Um, yeah, thanks for popping by, Dave. And back, just got a notification from yesterday. Oh, so it's not on yet. Right, right. Right, I might call it a day anyway. Well, I'm still going to carry on doing some photos, but I'm going to have to go into my other storage and see if I can find um, anything worthwhile listing in there. Um, so, yeah, I might, I might do this again because it, it was quite good chatting to everybody as it works. So for everybody who came in, um, past and present, thank you very much. Um, if you enjoyed the content and you're not already subscribed, please think about subscribing. It would be really appreciated. And um, hit the thumbs up because um, that, that really helps the channel as well. So thank you all and um, I'll see you next time I'm, I'm on. Um, I'll probably be in, um, well, inside chatting around drinking with Andrew on on um, Friday probably or if Bill's live I'll go I'll go there um, <laughs> so uh, yeah I'll see you um, see you all later oh, just noticed um, Nick has just arisen he's probably um, just woken up from his epic live last night um, but yeah he's he's missed He's missed an epic, an epic live. But yeah, I'm off now, so I'll um, I shall catch you all later. Bye.